Hi, so we will harvest also this tomato to dry them. This is called Roma tomato. And they're fresh or red enough to harvest, to be harvested. So different variety of tomato, but they're good in sauces also. So I'm thinking if I will dry them or make them as a sauce. We'll see. Because Probably I'm just gonna make a tomato sauce out of this. I don't know. We'll see. Okay? These are my harvested Roma tomatoes. I was planning to dry this also as a sun-dried tomato, but I think it's gonna be, it's too late already, so I decided to make a tomato sauce out of this one. So this is nice because it's Roma, and I can use it also as a pizza sauce, you know? So I'm just gonna put a little incision so that it's easy for this to peel when I put the boiled water. So I'm just going to make a little one so that it will peel off easily. Alright, and that's it.
Hi guys! I'm done with the peeling of the tomatoes and I have decided that I'm gonna make a pizza sauce. I let the tomatoes drain so that is easy for me to cook this one. We, we don't, it will not take time to cook this because it has less uh, liquid. So anyway, so we're gonna blend this and then strain it for us to separate the maybe the some of the skin that are left here, the seeds. So yeah, we're gonna pulverize it. <laughs> we're gonna blend it. Just put it in my small blender. Whatever you have, if you have uh, that pole sting you can do it also but i only have this one let's just use this one okay it pulls easily nice so what you need for a pizza sauce you need a tomato paste but i don't have a tomato paste we'll just use the commercial tomato paste okay and then after we make that one, we're gonna make pizza. Okay. So we'll see if this is fine. Yeah, it's very easy. We'll just strain it. Alright. Let's see. Alright. And we have this. Tala, can you lower the volume of your whatever you're watching there okay. it's, 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 it's very smooth by the way but you have to strain it whoa it's nice it's a tomato sauce can I some? yeah no it's not it's it's acidic it's sour, sour. yeah it's tomato how do you can dip in your <laughs> this will take less time because there's less water i don't know how much water i have with this one but it's good yeah. it tastes good, it tastes good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said it tastes good it's not sour mm -hmm. <laughs> i thought it's sour yeah it tastes good my god let me some to a kisala Just pulse it because, yeah, there you go. We need to take out the seeds, so from here, we need a spatula to you know strain all the liquids. There is going through, there you go, so that what will be left will be the seeds. There, nice. It's nice. So we'll finish this off and then I will prepare the ingredients for my pizza sauce. All right? Okay. So we I decided it's gonna be a pizza sauce. Uh, okay, let's finish this. Tell them what you want. Uh, I'm going to try this tomato sauce. How it's going to taste like. So. You want to try it in your bread? Yeah, just a little. Just a little. Don't spread it. I will not spread it. Just the right. half. Like that? Yeah. Don't, I said not too much. No, not too much? Try. Oh. And, how do you do it? 
Oh my god, I don't do that. No, I'm just the honey cheese. No, you're not. Ham and cheese. So you out of ham and cheese? I have ham and cheese. You want ham and cheese also on this one? Yeah. Okay. We will make the pizza sauce. So actually the recipe for pizza sauce, it needs a tomato sauce. But the one that I have is not yet made into tomato sauce. It's still raw because, you know, if you're going to make tomato sauce, you have to cook this one. And then if you make the pizza sauce, you just have to mix in the rest of the ingredients. No cooking needed. But since we're going to be using the raw tomato sauce, I'm, I will cook all of this. So basically what you need are simple ingredients like uh, salt, garlic, powder, oregano, dried oregano, pepper, and you need sugar to cut in the acidity of the tomato sauce. And then, of course, you need tomato paste to thicken up your tomato sauce. So it's going to be nice pizza sauce. That's it. Very simple, very easy pizza sauce. And then, of course, we will taste it, you know. So, yeah, let's make our homemade pizza sauce. So this one, these ingredients, um, it's up to you. I'm just eyeballing everything, you know. So whatever will it come out during the cooking process, during the testing. So whatever needs to be, you know, put more. We'll do it while we're cooking. So right now, this is our, these are just uh, eyeball uh, quantity or amount of the ingredients that I'm gonna be adding to my pizza sauce. So let's cook this one and then follow up this dry ingredients, add it while it's cooking, okay? So yeah. Because actually the tomato sauce, you really have to cook it in order to um, the liquid, you know, to evaporate. And of course, if you're gonna cook a food, it will last more. And of course, you will use olive oil, right? Okay, let's cook it.
right, we are done with the pizza sauce. I have one full small container and I have one that is almost full, but yeah, we're gonna use this one first. We're gonna make later pizza using our pizza sauce. And yeah, I hope, I don't know, I wish I can make more because this is way tastier than the one I can, I bought in the supermarket. So I really love it and I'm glad I made it into it. So next year, I'm gonna get more of that Roma tomato. Okay. So yeah, later this afternoon, we're gonna make the dough and make the pizza sauce. Okay. For now, this is it. Hot baby. Oh, let's watch the pizza. All right. So which one you want? This. This I want. The... I want this one with the pepperoni. I want mm -hmm. that one with the pepperoni, but that's the. Yay, off pepperoni. The... Let's take off the pepperonis. I hate the pepperonis. Yeah, I'm also hate it. Yeah. You want put it here. You want other half that has more pizza but less. This one, more. Yeah, this one. Want this? Okay. Kaka. I don't know. Tastes good. How's it with your sauce? Huh? It's real good. 
Mm -hmm. Like it? Where's mine? This one. Mmm. Mmm. The ham tastes more, more better. Mm -hmm. It has flavor because they are pizza sauce. Mm. I put flavoring in the I put spices, I put oregano, I put salt and pepper. What else did I put? I missed up garlic, powder. It's real good. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm. You want. Yeah. Oh. The sauce is good. Nom nom. Where's the pizza in the square shape? Because I want it to be easy for me to separate the fillings. Pizza circle, restaurant pizza circle. This is vegetarian, ham, and pepperoni. So whoever likes it will get it. If I do it in circle, it's hard for me to put this. And I don't have a bigger circle like this. It's good, by the way, guys. Mm. I love How's the pizza the sauce. Mm-hmm. That's why it's not. That's the cheese I using to your, for your toast. That's the one. I really want to stretch. Say bye bye to them. Bye. bye bye guys. Thank you for watching. Go make your own pizza sauce. Homemade pizza sauce is the best. Subscribe to Ingrid in Bosnia and, and like forget, the video. And don't forget to comment. Bye bye. bye.